Welcome to the BMW Onboard Navigation System. Technology neatly integrated into the dashboard of your BMW that not only shows you the way, it tells you. Despite its vast array of functions, the BMW Onboard Navigation System is very simple to operate. Turning the round control knob moves the cursor. Moving the cursor over an item highlights the item and pressing the knob selects the item. Begin by selecting GPS navigation from the main menu. Select OK after reading the warning. Then on the destination input screen, use the alphanumeric display to spell the city, then the street, followed by the number if available. And if you don't know the address, but could point to it on a map, select point to destination. There's no need to input a destination more than once. Simply store it in the address book. Within moments, the monitor will begin providing directions. It will even talk you through the trip turn by turn. Using up to eight of the 24 GPS satellites and map data stored on compact disks, the BMW onboard navigation system provides key information, including name of the street you're on, number of miles to your destination, distance to your next turn, and the name of that street. It even shows you the layout of the upcoming turn or exit. Choose Route Map if you wish to view an atlas version of your route. The route appears in white. The position of your car appears as a flashing blue triangle in a circle, and the destination appears as a white target symbol. Miss your exit? The BMW onboard navigation system will automatically configure a new route, and you may request a new route if you encounter a traffic delay. Information on current location and information on destination contain an extraordinary list of helpful points of interest and will even provide directions. When help is needed, select Emergency or Roadside Assistance and your optional BMW cellular phone can relay your car's exact location and establish a reassuring voice connection. Unlike many other systems, the BMW onboard navigation system is a fully integrated unit. You can use the large centrally located monitor to scroll through numbers stored in your personal telephone directory. Adjust the audio system. Activate your personal security code. Modify the frequencies in the optional digital sound processor and set the pre-ventilation system when you leave your BMW in a sunny parking lot. The BMW onboard navigation system also incorporates a BMW onboard computer. You can calculate your average consumption, range on current fuel, and arrival time to name just a few of the functions. There's even a driver adjustable speed limit warning and timer. The rest of this video has been designed to provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to operate your BMW onboard navigation system. Emergency. One of the key attributes of your new BMW onboard navigation system is the emergency feature. When help is needed, press the menu button, then choose emergency. You can also access emergency via the telephone screen. Your car's vehicle identification number and the longitude and latitude coordinates for your exact location will appear, along with your current street location if you are on a digitized road. If your car is equipped with an optional BMW integrated cellular telephone, you may select either emergency or assist. The integrated cellular phone will automatically call the BMW Emergency Call Roadside Assistance Service Center. BMW GPS navigation. Please push data button and wait for operator. Once the call is connected, Data, including your current position, will be transmitted to the service center, or you may press Data to transmit. After a series of audible signals, voice contact will be established to determine your safety and the type of emergency. Thank you for calling BMW GPS Mayday. My name is Kelly. Is this a fire, please, or medical emergency? Input destination. When you turn the key in the ignition, the monitor will come on. Select GPS Navigation. Read this warning carefully.
and press the knob for OK. If the destination that appears is not the one you want, select Delete Destination. Press again at the prompt. To enter the city, select by pressing the knob. An alphanumeric display will appear. Turn the knob to spell the city, pressing after each letter you select. Once you have keyed in the city, select Enter. To save time, enter only part of the name. Then move the cursor to Index and select. Scroll through the index to find the name you're looking for. Press the knob now press the knob again and enter the name of the street. You may need to include space for certain two-part names. Then enter the number if you know it. If you make a mistake, use delete to correct it. Press once or press and hold to delete the entire entry. When you've keyed in the street, select Enter. Now you may include the cross street if you wish. To do so, select Intersection and choose the correct one from the list. Verify that the address is correct. Ensure that Directions is highlighted, then press. In a moment, directions to your destination will appear. Point to destination. If you do not know the exact address, but could point to it on a map, first delete the address on your screen. Press again at the prompt. Then turn the control knob to information and press. Select point to destination. The system will generate a map of your current location. A pull-down menu will remain up for four seconds and can be generated later by simply pressing the knob. Select Scale on this menu and adjust the scale to help pinpoint your destination. You will be able to call up the street name when the scale is one half mile or less. Select Cursor from the pull-down menu and press. Turn the knob to adjust the horizontal axis first, pressing to confirm, followed by the vertical axis. Press. Highlight Save Destination and press. Verify the destination as it appears on the Input Destination display. Press for directions. Turn by Turn display. As soon as you enter a digitized road, your directions will appear. On the upper left of the display is your destination. Next to it, you'll see the number of miles to the destination with an arrow pointing in the general direction. When you're on a digitized road, the screen will show the upcoming road configuration, such as a turn or an exit ramp. Right above the graphic, you'll see the distance to your next turn and the name of the roadway you'll be turning onto will be displayed as you approach the turn. At the bottom of the screen is the name of the road you're currently on. Turn left. In one quarter of a mile, turn right. Turn right ahead. To the right is a menu. Destination input is used for changing the information you have already given the computer. If you choose instruction, you'll hear the most recent direction repeated, or you'll receive the next instruction if it's within one quarter of a mile. Route Map. To see your route on a map, select Route Map. In a few moments, a map will appear. Your distance to destination and distance to the next turn will appear in the upper right. 
the scale automatically selected will allow the entire route to be illustrated. To alter the scale, touch the knob to pull down the menu again and select Scale. You must select a scale of one half mile or less if you wish to see street names on the map. The top of the map is usually north, but if you choose a scale of one half mile or less, you may position the map in the direction the car is traveling. To do this, ensure that the scale is one half mile or less. Select Map Positioning, then choose between North Pointing and Direction of Travel. New Route. While underway, if you require an alternative route, select New Route, and you can request a new route for up to six miles. Any time New Route turns black, it is in calculation mode. Please allow the system to calculate your new route before making any more menu choices. Once the system has finished calculating, new route will turn white. Information Route Preference. You may select your route type either at the beginning of the trip or part way through the journey. Select Information and then Route Preference. In addition to fastest route, you will be able to specify most use of highways, least use of highways, or shortest route. Information Address Book. To store your current destination in the address book, go to Information. Select Address Book, followed by Enter Address. Select Name, and using the alphanumeric display, spell a name up to 10 characters long. Highlight Enter and press. To include a new destination in the address book, spell the name first. Highlight Enter and press. Then highlight the city and using the alphanumeric display, spell a name. Highlight Enter and press. Next, enter the street name followed by the number. When finished, be sure to turn the control knob to enter and press in order to store the entry in the address book. To retrieve the address from the address book, select Retrieve Address. Scroll through the names and addresses you've stored. Highlight the one you want and press. Then select directions if you wish to begin your journey. However, the BMW onboard navigation system can only provide directions to stored addresses that are available on the map CD being used. You may store up to 25 names. To delete one, select Delete Address, highlight the one you wish to delete, and press the knob. Press again at the prompt. Other useful features in the address book include enter current car position, retrieve last destination, and return to starting point. Select one and verify the address. Press for directions. Information, vehicle position. To get a visual idea of your current location, select vehicle position on the information menu. Select street map. A map will be generated on which your car appears as a flashing blue triangle in a circle, your route as a white line, and your destination as a white target symbol. Info on destination and info on current location. For an extraordinary source of information, select Information, then Info on current location. Make a selection such as golf course from the menu. In moments, the nearest golf courses will appear in ascending order of distance from your current location. Select one and press if you'd like directions. Info on destination also provides helpful information. 
choose a category and either use the alphanumeric display to spell the name or select index to scroll through the listing. If you prefer to use the route map, the locations of whichever points of interest you select will be indicated by icons. These icons will be stored in the system until you clear them. To clear the icons, go to Info on Destination or Info on Current Location and select City Center. Volume. First, ensure that the radio volume is at an ideal level. Then, with the radio on or off, select Information, followed by Volume Navigation. On the volume display, press the control knob to activate and turn the knob to adjust the volume. Listen to the voice. Find the right level, then press to confirm. Settings. Press the menu button and select Set. Use the control knob to make your selections. You may choose between three different background colors. If you select Yes for day-night, the screen will automatically darken when the headlights are turned on. At OBC display, choose between Arrival or outside temperature for the onboard computer display. To set the time, select Clock. Press Set. The time will appear in the display with the minutes underlined. Turn the knob until the correct time in minutes appears, then press. Ensure the hour is correct and press to confirm. At Audio OBC, if you select On, the onboard computer functions will be displayed under the audio window when you select the audio system. Telephone. To activate the telephone, press the menu button and select Telephone. To dial a non-stored number using the onboard navigation screen, press the knob a second time. Use the knob to select the digits in the number you wish to dial, pressing after each selection to confirm. To make a correction, highlight C and press once to erase the last digit, or press and hold to erase the entire number. Once you have entered the number, select the arrow on the dial and press to exit. To initiate the call, press the phone button next to the monitor or on the steering wheel. To access the 10 most recently dialed numbers, select Number Memory, turn the knob to scroll through the numbers. Press again to exit. Press the phone button to initiate the call. Info will display the signal strength and call duration. Turn to emergency for valuable assistance. Follow the procedure outlined earlier in this presentation. To look up stored telephone numbers by name, go to Functions and select Directory. Please refer to your cellular phone owner's manual for details on storing and programming numbers. To access the eight most frequently dialed numbers, select Top 8. Code. To implement a private four-digit security code, turn the key to the first position. Select Code. Turn the knob to input the first digit in your personal code, then press to confirm. Do this for all four digits. Then turn the ignition key to position zero and remove the key. Next time you want to start the car, turn the key to position one. Re-enter your private code. If you make an error, highlight change and press. Use the knob to confirm or correct each digit in the code once again. Then press to deactivate the security code. When code has been activated, the engine cannot be started. If the code is re-entered incorrectly three times, or there are three attempts to start the car without re-entering the code, an alarm will sound for 30 seconds. Follow the emergency deactivation procedure outlined in the owner's handbook. Auxiliary Ventilation. Press the menu button and select Auxiliary Ventilation. 
To enter the first switch on time, select timer one and set. Use the control knob to specify the minute and the hour that you wish the system to pre-ventilate the car while it is parked on a warm day. To enter a subsequent switch on time, select timer two and follow the same procedure. A red fan symbol on the dash will light up. To pre-ventilate the car immediately, ensure the key is in position one. Instead of entering a time, simply select Auxiliary Ventilation. Onboard Computer. Press the menu button and select Onboard Computer. To calculate your distance and arrival time, select Distance. Use the control knob to input the distance to your destination. Your expected arrival time will be calculated automatically based on current driving conditions. With the range function, you can tell approximately how far the car can be driven on the fuel remaining in the tank. Depending on which setting you have chosen, either the outside temperature or your arrival time will be available at a glance. To use the stopwatch, select timer and start. To stop the timer, ensure that stop is highlighted and press again. You may also obtain an interim time with tenths of a second without interrupting the stopwatch. Select return to exit. The engine must be running for you to be able to calculate your average fuel consumption. Select either Consumption 1 or 2. Choose Yes to begin a new calculation or No. To calculate your average speed, the engine must be running. Select Speed to obtain a current reading. To begin a new calculation, press the knob and select Yes at the prompt. To input a speed limit warning, make sure the ignition key is turned to Position 1 or 2. Select Limit and Set. Use the knob to specify the speed, then press to activate. To turn off limit, select limit and choose switch off. To enter your current speed, select speed. You will hear a chime when you exceed this limit. You may also call up the onboard computer readings on the instrument cluster display by pressing on the turn signal stock. To select only a few of these functions, press and hold the stock until the remote control display appears on the monitor. Highlight and press the control knob to exclude any functions you do not wish to see on the instrument cluster display. Select Memorize and press the control knob to program the system. Monitor off. When you switch to the audio system display or other screens, you will still be able to hear the instructions provided by the BMW onboard navigation system. If you switch off the monitor, you may turn it on again by pressing the menu button or the control knob. Audio system. To switch on the radio, push in the radio knob. Press the adjacent button to switch between the onboard navigation and audio functions on the monitor. When the audio window has been selected, the audio settings will appear in the upper portion of the display and the indicator will be illuminated. Press either FM or AM once to access AM1 or FM1 stations. Press again to access AM Auto Store or FM2 stations. Press FM a third time for FM Auto Store. To automatically capture and store the six strongest AM and FM stations in your current area, select either AMA or FMA. Continue to hold the key down when Auto Store appears until the sound returns. Press numbers 1 through 6 to choose a station. To automatically search for a station, press the arrow switch in either direction. Press the Select button to scroll through a further range of functions. M allows you to search for a station manually. Press the arrow switch until you reach the station you desire. Scan allows you to sample stations. Press the arrow switch to begin, then press Select again when you find a station that you like. 
A will search for stations automatically in the direction you choose with the arrow switch. To store your favorite stations, press and hold one of the numbered preset buttons until the sound returns. Press the weather button to automatically tune in the strongest weather station in your area. And to search for one manually, press the arrow switch. Press weather again to return to the station you were listening to. Press the tone button to adjust the bass, treble, fader, and balance. Alter each setting using the left-right arrow switch. Then press tone again to move to the next setting. If you prefer all settings to be in the center position, press tone and hold until all settings have moved to the center position on the display. If you have inserted a cassette or loaded the CD magazine, press the mode button until tape or CD is displayed. Press the arrow switch to search. And press twice in a row to fast forward or rewind. The small arrow button allows you to switch from one side of a tape to the other. Press the Dolby selector to choose between Dolby B or C. Digital Sound Processor. To activate the Digital Sound Processor, turn on the radio then press the menu button. Select DSP. If the DSP is off, press again to switch on. Select Memo, then choose one of the preset programs. Concert Hall, Jazz Club, or Cathedral to suit the music you are listening to. Or select Memory 1, 2, or three to store your own personal settings. For example, highlight Memo 1 and press. Using the control knob, select and adjust one of the frequencies. Press. Turn the knob to move on to the next frequency and use the same procedure. To hear a demonstration of the digital sound processor, highlight and press Demo. The BMW onboard navigation system is yet another exciting technological leap forward from BMW. We hope you enjoy the additional driving pleasure and peace of mind it has been designed to provide and wish you many safe and pleasant journeys. have arrived.